Hi guys, Trevor Page here. Uh, I'm just recording a quick video to show you how you can go about installing or setting up your uh, Java practice assignment number four. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded the zip file and uh, extracted the contents of that zip file somewhere on your computer. Um, what I've done is I've just un unzipped it onto my desktop and that's where I will be importing the files from. So. All you need to do is fire up your IDE of choice. Mine is the Spring Source Tool Suite. Uh, for the Spring Source Tool Suite inside of the Package Explorer window um, or tab, I'm going to uh, right click, say New Java Project, and I'm just going to uh, name the project Practice Assignment 4 and say Finish. And that will create the uh, empty project uh, folder inside of your Package Explorer tab. Uh, now we need to actually go about importing the files that you have extracted. So you can right click directly on the practice assignment 4. Um, try not to right click on like the source directory, but right on the, uh, the top level uh, project folder. Go to import. And uh, what you'll do is in the top, in the general section, um, you can just import uh, via the file system. So choose that and say next. And then you can browse for the actual files that you extracted, okay? Um, what I've done is I've extracted it here to the desktop um, just as practice assignment 4, which is what is inside the zip file. And um, w what you do is you take the base folder. So click on the practice assignment 4. Don't click inside on like the bin or settings or lib click on the you know top root directory practice assignment 4 and say okay and then be sure to check this checkbox to ensure that you're importing everything say finish and when it asks you to overwrite the files say yes to all the files make sure you overwrite all those files and there you go so now the practice assignment is properly imported and you can open up the tests.java file and get started with that um, and there you go. So now if you want to, you can stop watching this video now if you're ready to jump right into the project. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little bit of a teaser and, uh, and show you how you can go about uh, implementing the code inside of the init method. Um, because I had some people ask me what code needs to go in there. So if you want to try it out for yourself and you don't want to ruin the surprise, then stop this video now. Um, if you do want to know, then I will t tell you right now what it is that you need to do. So... Um, if you are running the tests uh, right now, so you write, or you click on the tests um, class file name, you can right click and say run as Java or JUnit test, and you'll see that all the tests are failing, okay, and they're all failing with null pointer exceptions. And the reason for that is each of the tests, each of the um, methods, is trying to call the is an anagram method of the SUT variable. And SUT stands for System Under Test. And um, what I've done right here is System Under Test has not yet been instantiated. We've declared it here and, and assigned it the value of null, but we haven't yet instantiated this object. So this is just an empty obje object in memory pointing to nothing. So if you try to um, invoke a dot uh, property or try to invoke a method, on a null variable you get a null pointer exception so in order to make that uh, work properly what you need to do is in the at before annotated method which is the init method here um, you need to actually instantiate this anagram solver and all you need to do is instantiate it by saying sut equals new anagram solver and uh, anagram come on now computer solver uh, and I guess you would need to um, instantiate the the impl, not the um, not the uh, interface. There we go. So um, this is more of a, a teaser or a uh, <laughs> a spoiler alert here. Um, this is not working, and the reason for that is because I wanted you guys to uh, use your knowledge of um, inheritance. Okay. So if you click over here in Anagram Solver, you'll see that this is just an interface, okay? And uh, inside of the interface, we are uh, defining the contract of the is an Anagram uh, method. So um, inside of the Anagram Solver impl, you see that it's blank. What you'll need to do is actually implement the Anagram Solver interface 
implements. There we go, anagram solver. Okay, so there we go, and then you can uh, hover over this and do a quick fix to add the unimplemented methods to get yourself started. There you go, now everything's compiling correctly, and now you'll be able to actually instantiate this object. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little two birds, one stone thing going on there. The first is you need to figure out how to instantiate the object. The second is the fact that you need to do this inheritance thing with the uh, anagram solver impl. All right, so that's all the, the uh, help I will give you. From there on, the tests um, will, uh, some of them will fail, and you'll need to figure out why that is. So I leave it to you, and happy learning.